you know, I've been to other villages in, in West Malaysia before and it's my first time in East Malaysia but I expected, you know, less facilities, less amen uh, amenities and you know, um, something more rural in a sense. First impression of the project per se, um, I was actually really afraid of offending people and I don't know, I, I thought that um, maybe they wouldn't accept me because like I'm actually not a, such a people person. That has really changed. I, first day since we came, I felt like this was really a bit like my like home to me. So um, I was reading the blog quite a fair bit and I actually found out about the project through Instagram which is uh, quite different from other people but um, I didn't know what to expect to be honest. I think it was like a money can't buy experience. The best part of the project would I think um, be working with so many great people and batchmates as well as um, working together with my uh, assigned lady because she's really understanding and she really took care of me like her own daughter and seeing how she gained confidence you know throughout the program to speak English uh, from being very shy to responding confidently in English I, I thought that was very rewarding. The best part of the project for me, I would um, on based on my experience, it would be climbing up the uh, prayer mountain. That was a great experience. It was my first time climbing up a mountain, and uh, I slid several times. And uh, but I loved it completely because I I think that process of climbing up the mountain brought back um, my memory um, throughout the project. You know, as I climbed up that mountain, um, some places were very steep and. Um, some places were really easy going, you know, and I thought about the project generally over the past few weeks. I've had really good times, I've had bad times, I've had times where, you know, it was things were really tough and I had to just um, um, I had to just go for it. I couldn't say I'm going back to KL, right? So I think based on my experience, um, climbing up the mountain was very uh, memorable for me. Mm, I think my favorite part about the project is the people. Um, I've never been to Barra before and it's quite ironic since I'm Sarawakian, I'm from Kaching and um, they were saying, people were saying that uh, the club people here are really friendly, really open and you know, stuff like that and I actually got to experience it firsthand. so I really enjoyed my time here more because of the people more than anything, so yeah. I, f I feel like I'm more accepting towards people um, and I feel like I can trust my instincts more. I feel like I know, as long as I trust myself, um, I can do it. And the people here have actually taught me that um, hard work really pays off. Uh, and well, I really like a simple life and these people have taught me that, yeah, it's okay to have a simple life as long as you're happy about it. Before we came to Project We, they were telling us that the only line, the only service provider that gets good uh, reception to Cellcom and I've always wanted to have this kind of no phone zone kind of thing like I would stop using my phone for a few days or whatnot and it's been three weeks and I'm very proud to say I've survived <laughs> I learned how to like uh, more uh, value and uh, how to value like old people of course I think that I didn't treat my grandmother as as good as how I treat her poor right now yeah, so I kind of regret it yeah but I'm gonna go back and treat my grandmother even better right now